This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, today we're going to do a tutorial on how to model a tire and rim. And I did that a long time ago, but this one is a lot more in detail. We're going to go through the modeling, UVing, and texturing process. Okay, so let's uh, check it out. Here we go. Okay guys, here we go. Let's get started with our uh, tire. Uh, we're going to do a tire, we're going to do a rim, we're going to UV it, and we're going to texture it. Okay, so let's get started with our tire. Uh, we're going to take a polygon plane, and my default is 10 by 10, which uh, would work out fine. We're going to jump into our top view, hit F to zoom in. We're going to right click and get a vertex. And I'm going to drag select the inner vertices. So I'm going to skip the ones on the outside. I'm going to skip a row and work my way down like that. And then I'm going to hit W and I'm going to move it in this direction. Like so. And then I'm going to select a vertical row and skip one row every time I do that. Okay, and I'm going to pull that down like so, or go up depending on whatever you like. Okay, so let's do that, and that should be all right. And now, before we do anything else, what I want to see is if I duplicate this by hitting Control D and moving that up, and we'll just Stitch that up here for, for wireframe mode. So if we bring this down, will that pattern look okay? Okay, so let's bring that down a bit more. You can see that these lines uh, align perfectly. Just wanting to see whether this section height is too big, but we're gonna have the same deal here, so we should be okay, all right? Okay, so hit Control Z to get rid of that. Just wanted to try, okay, cool. So now that we're good on that, what we're gonna do next is we are going to right click, go to edge, double click on that edge, skip one. We're gonna do, uh, let's see, we'll do this one and this one. And what do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Or for wireframe mode, so I can see it better. Eh. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, we're gonna go to Edit Mesh and uh, Bevel. Come on, and the fraction will do 0 0.02, which will give us a little bit, maybe a bit more. 0 0.04, maybe. Yeah, that's better. We'll hit five yeah just want to make sure i don't have any duplicates going on here got an object mode yeah that's what i thought okay so get rid of that we're gonna snap this back hold down x and we're good so we've got those cut out then we're gonna go in and we're gonna right click on the edges here so double click double click double click and just keep on going and we're gonna go to um, Edit Mesh and Bevel again. 0 0.02, let's have a look. A little bit more, 0 0.04, even more than that. 0 0.2 maybe, no, a little bit less, 0 0.1. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. All right, so now that we have that, uh, what we're gonna do next is we are going to um, stitch these guys up, okay? So I'm gonna right click at object mode. I'm gonna hit Control D to duplicate, W to move that over, and we'll just have a look from this end. I'm gonna move that down until we are pretty closely aligned up here. 
And what I can do is hit the Insert key, and we're going to move the pivot point up. And I'm just going to hold down V so it will snap. So if I hit the Insert key again, and now I want to move it, I can hold the V and it will snap perfectly and align perfectly. Okay, I'm going to drag select these two, Control D once again, W to move, hold down V as we do that. And that wasn't too smart actually because the one on top doesn't have a centered and that one has. Okay, so we'll go with that one. I'm sorry. All right, so Control D to duplicate. We're going to move that down and we're going to hold down V which will snap perfectly and then we'll hit shift D a couple of times shift D shift D shift D shift D until we believe that we have enough to have an entire tie thread that's maybe a little bit much I'll get rid of the last one and then what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll stitch these parts together by merging the vertices so I'm gonna right click go to vertex I'm going to drag select this row here and actually let's make this one object first mesh combine right click vertex so we got that we're going to go to edit mesh and merge where do you go yeah and what I want to avoid is that these guys are snapping together right so let's see, 0 0.001 leaves them open. So merge, 0 0.001, enter. We're going to go down here. We're going to select these. I'm going to hit G to repeat last command. 0.001, enter. G to repeat last command. 0.001. Once again, G and 0.001. And G. I think we're almost there. And G and 0 0.001. And that's it. Okay. So now that we have that, we're going to have a closer look at our profile to see whether this will be a problem. We got these bigger areas here. So let's uh, have a look, okay? So we're gonna go into our top view. I'll hit five for shaded mode. Okay, we do see a little bit of an issue there. So we're gonna drag select the vertices, go all the way here, and then we're gonna hit W and we're gonna bring that down until we feel that we have a distance that looks okay. Okay, so that's one. Then we're gonna drag select all the way to the second one. Bring it down a bit. Let's bring that all the way down to number three. A little bit tedious. Uh, let's see where we're at. And maybe I'm being over picky about it, but just something that you will notice as you're modeling. Okay, 
So let's see, this one will approach from that end. So we'll just uh, move that up. Yep, happy with that. All right, so now that we have that, what we're gonna do is we are going to, and this is really a tedious part, first make sure that it's all stitched up together and all that kind of stuff, yep, yeah, fine. Oh, we've got one more area that we need to adjust here. That's up here. Right click, come on, right click vertex, drag select. Okay. So what I want to do next, and this will be time consuming, I'm going to select all the individual faces, like all these squares but not the areas in between. So not this or this, uh, no, this, just the squares, okay? So I'll like quickly do that and I'll be back in a sec. Right, uh, all selected. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna hit Control E to extrude them. So hit Control E and let's drag on the thickness, hold down the Control key. So you can see how we move that up. Obviously that's way too much. Let's try 0 0.02 and let's have a look what that looks like. And you clearly see that pattern. That's exactly what we want. Maybe a bit too thick. 0 0.001, hang on, 0 0.01. That's what I wanted. Yeah, that looks fine, okay. So what we're going to do next is we are going to get this thing into shape. So we're going to look at it from this view right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to right click, go to vertex. And we're going to start to uh, take a number of these areas here. So drag these vertices. We're going to start to raise them up. We're going to skip a row at each end. Raise that up a little bit. And you don't want to have the top surface being too rounded. So be careful not to do that. Try to keep that fairly flat if you can. And just for effect purposes, you can decide to very, very slightly Bring this back down a bit. Okay, so let's have a look. Not too bad. So it's time to bend this guy. So we're gonna right click the object mode. First, what I wanna do is, uh, let's see. I'm gonna right click the face and I'm gonna take these, not these faces, these faces out. So delete that. And that as well. We're gonna flip that around. Same at this end. We don't want to have these faces on the inside of our tire. Oops. And delete that, there we go. Then we're gonna right click at object mode. We're gonna select this guy. We're gonna go to deform, nonlinear and bend. And we'll hit E to rotate our bend handle. Hold down J to snap it to sections of 15 degrees. And then we're gonna rotate it in this direction as well. So again, hold down J, make sure you're at 90 degrees. We'll go back one. And then we're going to hit Control A for our attribute editor. Go to our bend controller and see what we got. Okay. So with that all flipped around, seems to line up okay. Good, good. Um, all right. We can now select this, 
go to edit and delete by type history, which will get rid of our curve handle here. And then we're going to go in and we're going to go to that row in the middle here. It's already on four. Just need to identify which one that is exactly. That's this one right here. So right click edge, you see that? Nope. That edge right there. That's the one where we need to merge the vertices right here. So we're going to right click our vertex, we're going to drag select these and go to edit mesh and merge 0 0.001. Okay. So that should be all right. Then we're going to go in, we're going to right click at an edge and we're going to take this edge right here and that one right there. We're going to hit control E to extrude, R to scale out just a bit and then pull them down like so. G to repeat last command. R to scale out again. And scale them down. Just have a look at our overall profile. It looks okay, I think. G to repeat last command once again. R to scale out. Scale that down. That's not too bad. Yeah. One more time. G R to scale out a little bit, push that down. And this time we're gonna push it back in a little bit, like so. G to repeat last command, R to scale once again. We'll scale down this time, like so. That seems to be all right. G to repeat last command, R to scale down. And this time we're gonna push it out a little bit. Not too much, like so, all right? Then we're gonna go in to, uh, let's see, Injured edge loop, option box. Uh, we'll do multiple and set it to one, so it will be centered. And we want one centered right here and one centered right there. Hit Q on your keyboard or right click face. Come on. Go away. Not going to tell me that I can't select that. That's annoying. Okay, I'll have to do that manually. Give me a sec, guys. Okay guys, there we go. Uh, so that's selected. I'm gonna hit five for shaded mode. I'm gonna hit control E to extrude. Let's do 0 0.01 and we'll have a look. And that seems to be all right, okay. All right, now let's see. Uh, I'm gonna hit object mode. I'm gonna hit three to preview smooth to see what we got, okay. So this is the pattern that we get if we decide to preview smooth it. You don't have to, we can leave this at one. And what I can do here is right click and go to edge. I'm gonna select this edge and shift select this edge. And let's do these as well. See, yeah, that's fine. And uh, where is that? We're gonna hit soften edge on those, and that will give it a total different look and feel. Okay, so that way we can keep this nice and crisp, and we won't have any issues. All right. Okay, so this is pretty much our tire, guys. So now it's time to create our uh, wheel rim. We can decide just to have a quick look to hit R and maybe 
bring in our tire just a little if you like okay and that said it's now time to do our rim hang on okay so what we're gonna do is first of all close this out what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a uh, polygon pipe we're gonna hit E we're gonna rotate that in this direction let's take our tire first go to modify and center pivot and then we're just gonna move that to where it belongs so hit W to move it up hold down X to snap it to the center of our grid from our top view we'll do the same so we know that's all centered out which is good okay so we got this guy it's gonna become our rim so we're gonna hit uh, control A for attribute editor we're gonna go in and we're gonna do a poly count of 50 to make that nice and round and let's see um, the thickness we'll do 0 0.15 for now and then we'll scale it into position so let's see from this view we're gonna hit R and we're gonna scale that out until we have a pretty clean fit looks to be okay then we're gonna scale the whole thing out just very very slightly we're gonna select our tire we're gonna hit control H to hide it select this guy and go to injured edge loop option box multiple and we'll do two we'll add that right there and we're gonna hit R to scale it out and we're gonna push them out to the edge not all the way but pretty close okay we're gonna hit Q on our keyboard actually let's see do we need the inside ones as well no we do not hit Q on your keyboard we're gonna right click at a face I'm gonna select that entire edge and that one as well control E to extrude R to scale out We're going to go to display and show all to get our tire back okay so that's a bit much let's go back a little bit that looks about right and then we're going to right click at an edge we're going to double click on this one and shift to double click on that one and first of all we're going to start to scale that up like so and then we're going to push that in which will give us something like this we're going to hit G to repeat we're going to hit R to scale down hang on that's not what I wanted let's uh, see how we can do that take those faces control E to extrude R to scale in that's what I was looking for okay G to repeat R to scale out we're gonna pull it out a little bit and we're gonna drag it down a little bit G to repeat R to scale in that looks pretty cool and then push that in all right just so we've got some definition going on there all right and then what we need to do is we need to find some symmetry for our spokes. We did 50 in total, so that will be five faces, skip five faces and so forth. So let's see if we can make that work. I'll just pause the video while I do that. Okay guys, so I have uh, five selected, five skipped, as you can see, okay. We're gonna hit Control E to extrude. We're gonna drag on that thickness and we're gonna start to bring that in like so and we'll just have a look from this view here as we do that we'll hold the control key and that looks about right good good okay now there are a couple of things we want to tweak here because it looks a bit stiff if you will we're gonna uh, right click go to edge and we're gonna select these outer edges I'm gonna flip that around so I'm gonna do the same here 
Oh, not that one, sorry. Looks like I got something selected that I shouldn't. So I'll, ooh, that's hard to see. I'll try and do that a little bit more careful. Looks like they're good. Okay, we're gonna go to edit mesh and uh, bevel. We're gonna set the fraction to 0 0.1. Let's have a look, 0 0.2 maybe. Yeah, 0 0.2 is fine. Then we're gonna go in and we are going to uh, insert edge loop, option box, open that up. And we'll do multiple and one to get that into the center again. And that went through and through. Yeah, it did. Cool. Hit Q on our keyboard. And what we're going to do is we are going to right click get a face. One, two, three. There we go. Same here. All right. We're going to hit Control E to extrude. We're going to see what looks best. So uh, let's see. We'll hold down the Control key. We'll drag on. Get rid of that. We'll drag on the thickness here. Bring that in a little. Yeah, it looks cool. Maybe even a bit more. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Okay. We're going to right click on this guy. We're going to do three to preview smooth. We're not quite there yet. So we need to sort this guy out in the middle. And for that, we'll take, a, let's see, we'll take a polygon cylinder. We'll hit E to rotate, like so. R to scale that down and stretch that out. Let's see, we'll do 50 on the subdivision as before. We'll get this guy in place. R to scale in, and we'll make that just big enough, like so. Let's have a look from this angle, all right. So it needs to come in a bit. Like so. We're going to set caps to zero. We're going to select this guy and this guy and hit Control H to hide. Select this one. We'll go into, not that. Injured edge loop again. Come on. Set that to two. Hit R to scale that out. Almost to the end there. Hit Q on our keyboard. We're going to right click go in. Select those edge rows. Hit Control E to extrude. Let's do 0 0.1. It's way too much. 0 0.03, a little bit better. And we're going to go to display and show all to get everything back. And we can see if this guy is in order or not. So we've got it selected. Let's hit R and slightly stretch this guy out seems about right then we're going to right click at the edge we're going to double click on that top edge and shift double click on that one and we're going to flare that out a little bit we'll right click and get a face select face and shift select face control e to extrude 
are to scale down. And we will fix that. And then push it out. Like so. Yeah. And then we can use that space for an emblem or something like that. Okay. So let's see. Object mode, we're going to hit three to preview smooth. That has a huge end gun, so it's not pretty. Uh, let's fix that. Let's see. Insert edge loop. Single setting. I'm going to put one in there. One in there. One in there. And one in there. Okay, Q on our keyboard, right click object mode, select these two and go to mesh combine. And then let's hit three to preview smooth. Uh, one more thing we need to do, as you can see, hit one to go back. Uh, let's say mesh and separate. I'll take this guy, hit control H. And we'll go into our insert edge loop again. Not that one, come on. Uh, yeah, still good. And then we'll jump into this view and we'll go in and add one here. One there. One there. One there. And one there. Q on our keyboard. And there we go. We're going to go back to mesh and no, display and show all, yeah. We're gonna right click in object mode, select this and this, go to mesh and combine, and hit three to preview smooth, okay? And that looks like a pretty decent wheel, all right? So we're gonna select this, we're gonna go to mesh and smooth to actually smooth it, instead of preview smoothing it. And this is our wheel, okay? So I'm just gonna save out this scene and the next step will be UVing this guy. Okay, see you in a bit. All right guys, so we left off with our model and now it's time to UV this guy, okay? So we're gonna start with our tire thread here and we're gonna go up to UV and we're gonna do a cylindrical projection. And it's not, uh, the orientation is not correct. So actually let's flip that over. Um, yeah, so we're going to click on this little T down here, which will allow us to, let's try that again, yeah, will allow us to kind of rotate that towards where I need it, like so. And then we can hit Control A to go to our attribute editor, and we can adjust that rotation. So uh, let's see, that should be minus 45 by 90 by minus 45, if I am not mistaken. And I am mistaken, but it's pretty close. This should go that way. No, it's minus 90, okay, cool. So then we're gonna go up to UV and UV editor, and let's see, that should give us this thread here, and I'm perfectly happy with that. So we're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale that in, now keep in mind that the tire will have a uniform material all the way around. It's gonna be rubber, obviously. So we're good there. And then we're gonna have a look at this guy. Now, this is a totally different story. Uh, it's a much more complex object. Based on the type of material that you, you're gonna apply, you need to choose how you want to approach it. And I'll explain, okay? So I got it selected, I'm gonna to go to UV, and we can do cylindrical mapping as well, but I'm gonna try an automatic, and let's see what that will bring us. And this is pretty much what I wanted, because what I'm mostly interested in is these guys here. So this one, and this one, 
these two rings here and the caps on front and back. All the others are on the inside, like surface like that. And then obviously you got the sections that are on top of the rim and not even vis visible, okay? So as long as I don't have any overlapping UVs here, I'm good, all right? So I'm gonna uh, be okay with that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna drag select the whole thing and let's just uh, lay this out in a way that everything has its space and we don't have overlap. So I'll just take this guy, hit W, move that out of the way for a sec. All of this stuff is hardly visible. So I'm gonna hit R and I'm gonna scale that in. Not too much, hang on. Move that up. And I'll take this guy, move that one down. That's the hubcap. That one as well. Let's move them in here somewhere. That's fine. That one too. And then we'll take our actual tire thread and put that in here. And hit R and scale that in a little bit. Okay. So happy with that. No overlapping UVs and the primary areas are cleanly visible, okay? So I'm gonna right click at object mode. I'm gonna select the whole thing. Actually, I need to do some color ID mapping here so that I have different materials. So I'm gonna use my tire here, assign new material. Let's do a Lambert. And we'll do any other color, doesn't really matter. Red, we'll assign a new material here. We'll do another Lambert and we'll do yellow and then let's see uh, do I want a different material on that not necessarily so that is fine okay so I'm gonna select this I'm gonna go to uh, export selection if I can find it for whatever reason I'm always looking for that thing FBX as an export export selection I'm going to save this on my desktop and I'll call this uh, tire underscore rim FBX and I'm just going to export that selection to my desktop. Okay, so now let's jump into Substance Painter so we can start to texture this guy. Here we go. All right, guys, here we are. We're going to go to File and New. We're going to leave this at PBR Metal Rough. We're going to select our mesh. And keep in mind that if you had a low and a high poly mesh, this is where you would load up your low poly mesh. We only have one mesh, so I'm gonna select uh, this one right here. And let's see, I'm gonna leave that at direct X. I'm gonna set this to 4K map size. And we don't have any maps created just yet, so we're gonna hit okay. That should load up our model. Shouldn't take too long, there we go, yeah. And what we got is we got our rubber and we got the rim. Okay, cool. So that's that. We need to start off by baking our maps as we always do. So I'm gonna to go to view and reset user interface. So we're all on the same page. And I'm gonna to go to bake textures. Now, like I said, if you had a low poly and a high poly, you would load up your high poly right here, but we don't. So we're just gonna work with this guy, okay? I'm gonna leave all the maps checked. I'm just gonna hit bake all texture sets. It will give us some error messages, but don't worry about it. It's because of the fact that we don't have any effect or colors and that kind of stuff. Don't worry about it. And uh, we'll just give that a sec. It shouldn't take too long. You can see that it's baked and applied to ambient occlusion. And it's at 100%, okay. So we're gonna click on our shelf here and we got our maps to work with, so we are good, okay? So let's start on applying the rubber for our tire. So that will be the top one there. Select it. We're gonna go to our smart materials and let's search for rubber. Now we got a couple of options here. We got plastic rubber, whatever that is. Uh, let's see, we got dry rubber, as in a dried out tire, rubber tire and rubber tire dirty. Now let's do that one, okay? So we'll pull that one in, we'll drag and drop, 
and we'll wait until that's applied. Shouldn't take too long. All right, there we go. It's applied. As you can see, it worked out nicely. Excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, so you can see that the rubber has been applied nicely. We got some mud going on and so forth. So uh, looks pretty cool. And uh, we'll adjust that in a minute if we need to. But first, we're going to look at our rim. So we're going to make sure that that's selected. Let's go and find steel. A bunch of steel types that we can choose from. We got steel scratched, for example, and we'll just give that a try and see what that looks like. And um, it's lagging a little bit, so I'll just uh, pause while it applies the material. All right, and there we go. You can see that it looks quite nice. Uh, we can adjust that if we like. We can go in and uh, let's see, we can tweak some settings here. We can uh, increase roughness, um, the metallic values as well. Uh, let's go to our steel base. Let's see, what else do we got here? Just trying to find the proper controls. This is the one that I want. I'll just uh, fix this lagging problem. Hang on, guys. Well, guys, turned out that it was not only a lagging system, it was actually a crashing system. Uh, sorry about that, uh, but luckily we were able to, uh, you know, finish the complete tutorial, uh, maybe a minute or so uh, on fine-tuning the texturing. But that said, that's all there's to it. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let me know as always. And that said, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.